Hello everybody, it's Kim. Hey, I'm gonna take you for a quick ride with me. Normally I would walk here, but it's raining on and off. And I wanna do this before the rain comes back. I'm gonna to go to one of my favorite foraging spots, which is right down the road from me, and see if I cannot find some more asparagus. I found out about this place a few years ago and we all kind of get down there the whole neighborhood goes so it just depends on who's been there that day whether you're going to get anything and i'm kind of early this year so i'm hoping i get a chance to get a pretty good amount of asparagus today and like i said it's a nice walk on a decent day to go down here even if i don't get anything it's still kind of cool as you can see i live kind of in the middle of nowhere and at one time, I don't know how the asparagus got there, but down this road that I'm coming up on here, there's another patch down that way, but it's across from somebody's house, and I think they get to it pretty much every day. This one down here, it's next to a house, and it seems to always have asparagus, so. Anyway, like I said, it's not too far from my house. And I thought you might enjoy seeing some of the countryside where I live. I was hoping maybe we could see some deer today, but they seem to be hunkered down because of the rain. This is the Elk River we're crossing right here. I think I called it the Black River before, and I soon found out it was part of the, it's a tributary off the Elk River, I believe. And that was my one of my nearest neighbors here. And you see here, this this recently sold. And see, they got some lots of daffodils here. It looks like they might be putting in a driveway, but the asparagus patch is down this way a bit. Just have to remember exactly where it is. And I think I'm too soon this way. So let's see if I can find out where it is. And even if this property is sold, the ditches are part of the county, so you're not really taking anything from somebody. Well, we're gonna get out here. I don't remember exactly. Normally in the fall or early spring, you see the fronds sticking up, but they got knocked down. So let's go see if we can figure it out here. pretty sure we have to go down quite a bit further. I just look for little nubs sticking up here. This is a wild rose here. You can get rose hips from to make rose hip jelly and kind of like a, a tonic that you can drink. It has a lot of, rose hips have tons and tons of vitamin C. It's a very, very picky plant, like pokey. It's got lots of thorns in it. Um, so you got to be careful where you pick it, how you pick it. But, yeah, I'm not seeing much yet. Uh, here it is. Here's where the patch is. Ouch. And I think I'm early. I think my bed is early this year, like I said earlier. But this is where I like to come. See all the fronds that are down here? They got knocked down. I don't know if somebody knocked them down so nobody finds a spot or I think the winter did it. But they have asparagus growing all the way in this area, lots and lots of it. And I really hope, oh, there's one right there. See it right here? And give me a taste. It's a nice big fat one. Yeah, just a, I think I'm just a tiny bit early yet. Either that or somebody got to them. Here's another one. It's a little bigger. These are really old ones. They've probably been here for, I don't know how many years, but I don't care if they're just tips. I'm gonna probably add them to my pizza anyway. Nobody in my house likes them but me, so. I only need a few to get a nice little flavor anyway, a little bit of 
free nutrition for me. I'm going to have to keep coming back for a while. Let's see if anything's down here. They're not easy to find this this early. But it's worth the look since I know mine are up. There's usually another little patch down this way and I don't think that's up the hill a bit more here, so I don't know if I have anything. Now I'm on somebody's property, and I won't, wouldn't do this if somebody lived here, that's for sure. But right now the property's empty, and that's about it. I think that's it for today. Not a whole heck of a lot, but hey, for free couple little asparagus tips just for taking a little drive down the street anyway I better get back home and maybe I'll see if there's something else there that we could find for dinner all right well at home I have a couple more decent size asparagus tips so that should add up to let me get the other ones out of my pocket that should add up to a pretty good size side dish I think I will saute it with some of my um, scallions and you add parsley to it now I'm not sure if you know but in World War II especially in the UK they ate a lot of parsley um, they made a lot of parsley sauce and parsley pestos and things like that because parsley is extremely high in many vitamins and it's one way to add some nutrition to your food you know without having to um, do much with it it also acts as a natural that's why they put it on a lot of plates when they serve you in the restaurants it's a natural breath um, sanitizer I guess where if you eat it after your meal it will take like garlic breath away and things like that so 